This is a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I will show you a couple of features and stuff that I don't like on it. Okay, so it's a good phone. You read it a lot for your brain. Uh, this is not a professional video, that's why I'm using a floor mat of the rental car I'm using today. I got this phone yesterday uh, for different reasons. So, uh, the main reason was that my uh, Note 8 kept getting full, I could not install apps. It was really annoying, the earpiece was also clogged with some stuff. The screen uh, was burned in, I had a bunch of uh, shadows. And um, I thought it's kind of a, a need for another phone, especially because I was not able to install new apps on that phone. So I had to delete, keep deleting, keep deleting old pictures, keep deleting, keep... Uh, like uh, recording videos for my channel, deleting those. Yeah, I could not store much. So for that, uh, those reasons I got this phone yesterday and um, I'm kind of uh, happy maybe, no happy, no. It's, you know, it's, it's not a phone to get me happy. It's a phone as used as a tool. But uh, what I'm saying is I'm excited about some features and I'll share those. Uh, maybe I'll share the bad stuff first, maybe. Uh, let, let me get rid of those, uh, put, put that thing aside. So yesterday I went to the dealership to um, here in uh, Vancouver area. And it, one of these things was on display, the stylus. Let me pull it out. That's the, that's the train that goes by. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it's already... Huh? What is that? I need to get used to this thing. Anyway, so it detected I pulled the stylus out. Uh, the stylus at the dealership was uh, into a stylus holder. And for some reason, uh, I thought to smell it. <laughs> oh, it was a odd feel to smell it and to sniff it. And uh, it stinks like uh, burned electronic boards. I do work in electronic field, electronics uh, repair and installation and stuff uh, for the last maybe 30 years. Okay, got my S Pen, yes. F Air command to access my physical activity, what? Oh, the heck. So these phones are trying to steal as much data as possible. So they are interfaces for the not only the, the big tech, uh, but different uh, companies using your data to not only sell you sell your services but also profile you because this data is really really <laughs> important for those uh, working behind the AI uh, systems and technologies. So your data and your behavior is really important. What you type on the phone, where you drive, how, what your voice, your voice commands are all interfaced to this piece of technology. It's not a, really a tool for you. It's more useful f to them than for you. So you think it's really a good toy. In most cases, people get, oh yeah, I have a, the gadget, look at that, look at me, I have so many cameras, I'm so cool. Yes, but that's the interface of the big tech and other organizations that monitor you. Yeah, it's a portal. Yeah, you see, portal packed with technology. Cool looking technology. Nice makeup, right? Would you grab a phone like that if it was made out of a tree bark or something like that? Like uh, if the phone was made by some aliens, gods, like a tree, ugly tree looking phone. No, because they programmed you to love shiny stuff. Yeah? Remember? The old uh, Indians got fooled by the, the whites with mirrors and smokes and stuff. Yep, same thing. Here, yeah, it's a cool gadget, 
shiny, good, good looking, nice feel. Uh, depends if you hit yourself in the head, uh, it is not such a nice feel, not such a no nice toy. Let's go with uh, so this stylus thinks like uh, chemical, and the clerk at the store said that it's um, because uh, stylus sat in the phone for six months since they got it, uh, or they kept it in a warehouse somewhere. I said that's not normal, and he said, Yeah, because Samsung is heating up more than Apple. So he tried to give me some BS explanation, which is uh, not not a uh, I don't know. Is those explanations may may work for the teenagers, but not for me. Uh, so I imagine that people are working in an assembly plant somewhere in China. They inhale that toxic smell every single day because it's not an unpleasant smell only. It's a toxic smell. It's like I said, the burn like. Uh, uh, PC board uh, and component uh, burn, uh, burning. Yeah. So let me put this one back in and move on with uh, different things. What I love about it, um, what I like, the extraordinary range of the Bluetooth radio. So I was listening my. Uh, my uh, Bose QR or QC35, like some Bose headsets or headphones, and I was able to receive clear, very clear sound from a, an internet radio about 100 meters away. I said, wow, that's really, really good range. So it helps you to have the, the phone somewhere in the house and move around with your portable speaker or headphones in the house with no interruption. That's really good. But, but, since I work with uh, radio frequency and technologies like that and I'm really aware of uh, radiation of, of your brain or my brain, uh, I'm aware of it. I don't really need that range. I don't need to have a... a, a broadcasting radio next to my brain when I uh, keep this thing near my, my head, let's say uh, one talk to someone on the phone I don't need that radio that powerful that's 2.4 gigahertz it's not like a micro microwave 800 watts power no, 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 it's probably a quarter watt or something because these devices were supposed to be very low power, like uh, 10 milliwatts or something like that. So I don't know how much power this one puts out in order to get that much range. 100 meters is like uh, stronger than a Wi-Fi router. A Wi-Fi router it puts out like 200 milliwatts or uh, sometimes only 100 milliwatts and they use some high gain antennas. Uh, some use uh, 500 milliwatts, but still lots of power for that router. And I thought that's kind of dangerous, but now I get similar powers maybe in the phone uh, beside the uh, beside the uh, other network now let's talk about 5G because I just deactivated that stupid 5G uh, I'll show you how to deactivate the 5G so if I go to uh, no Bluetooth uh, connections a eh, connection uh, mobile networks I do I it was, on default was 5G LT WCDMA and GSM that was the default so to activate my uh, I mean the 5 5G radio but I, I don't need that radio active on my phone I don't need to have a uh, something broadcasting at uh, 5 gigahertz or 6 gigahertz it depends on the the band or 3 gigahertz uh, microwave I don't need that so I turned it off right away. Once I uh, set up the phone, I turned it off. And uh, like I said earlier, um, I did not like the same type of technique of stealing your data uh, with your consent. So they, they ask you for your consent. Um, so when you go through privacy notices and all that stuff, uh, there is a button, a uh, blue button, they say, uh, accept all. And if you do that, uh, your phone will broadcast data of, of your activity to, they said, for research or technical development and uh, 
you know, data analysis. It, it says it does not contain your private data, but it's your private data. It just does not have a your name attached to it. And uh, same thing when you use uh, voice commands. Now everyone, everyone like uh, lots of uh, companies, even on the internet, some internet uh, radio providers like uh, TuneIn and stuff. They say, oh, you use your voice commands to activate your internet radio, internet speaker, and all that stuff. Yeah. So even Google sent me some sort of a notification here. Yeah, use your voice command in order to text messages, uh, uh, write messages, and do things. Yeah, it's a cool feature, really cool. But your voice gets stored in the cloud. And guess what? It goes gets stored with your profile. And uh, that's a vulnerability. And uh, I, tell you, I can tell you about eSIM. That's a really big one, the uh, eSIM vulnerability. And how the hackers get a hold of a your QR code that contain your eSIM information and how they get a, uh, access to your uh, bank accounts. Do you want me to tell you how they do that? Should I tell you how they do, how the hackers clone your phone number and then they have access to change your uh, email passwords and other things that uses as a backup uh, reset method uh, uses your phone number when they send you a text to your phone number you want me to tell you how they do it yeah maybe another video anyway so uh, what i love about this one what i like uh, the screen brightness so this screen is really bright if i go to brightness here right now it's not full brightness yet but you see it's sunny outside it's summer it's june and I can read, I can read in uh, full sun. Now, there is a button here, it's, uh, it says extra brightness. And it gets brighter. Look at that. Now, I have glare because they put a screen protector. I paid for a screen protector on this thing. That's why I get some glare, but I imagine the screen is better according to other people reviews uh, the screen or um, this model is better So now let me turn the brightness off because I don't want to burn the screen like on my other phone Or maybe yeah, that it for, for you just for for the day Turn on adaptive brightness. Whoa, look at that. Look at that screen That's really compared to yeah I can it's it's sunny and I can read it but of course it's going to burn marks like uh, create shadows on my screen and I don't want that for, but for quick uh, demo here I can live with that so by default they installed a bunch of apps uh, on my um, Note 8, after I uh, I reinstalled everything, I had to deactivate a bunch of stuff. Same thing here, I'm going to do that. But this is by default, they, they fill up the phone with a bunch of crap, useless stuff. So if I go, so tune in, tune in I, I installed it and I already, uh, no, 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 get rid of it uninstall because this is a BS unless you pay for subscription and I don't want that but the other ones you can deactivate by going to settings and apps and deactivate or uh, uninstall or remove but lots of things so some stuff is just links to some websites I don't need that because these apps I'm telling you uh, they constantly monitor the, the stuff so they kind of uh, they allow that uh, data data going back and forth between your phone and the, their servers they constantly monitor you uh, they send you notification and stuff like that but for me I don't need to have data traffic between me and some servers some un unknown servers servers because I don't know who are these developers and who are their workers who are their contractors? How many are hackers out there? Because I'm telling you, uh, apps, 
made by people who are giving parts of the jobs to different hackers. Yeah, or uh, people working in two different uh, boats, uh, working as hacker, working as a developer. And I'm not uh, paranoid. I'm telling you that's the reality of uh, of the IT world, of the software development world. You need to be careful who is your uh, software service provider, who are, is your IT developer, who is the, I mean the IT de- uh, service provider. So they are people who. Uh, need to go through security clearances and but unfortunately they don't and they end up working and doing services in different places and they have access to sensitive data because they are not enough uh, security checks uh, especially now with the, after the covid when the, it was a shortage at some point you know they were uh, giving some certain jobs especially remote jobs to people in two different countries and Nobody from, let's say, from the Canada or from the U.S., nobody had uh, info where the customer service uh, are coming from, like uh, where, where they are located, in which country, and who they talk to. So they had these uh, VPNs and over the Internet uh, services. Um, so you were talking to someone over the internet and this, the person is somewhere in Pakistan or India or somewhere and you don't know what that worker is doing uh, while he is doing service, uh, like uh, customer service at the same time. You don't know what is on that person's computer and you don't know who does the checks on those people. Anyway, so too much uh, BS talk. Um, yeah. Uh, the idea is that you need to deactivate this stuff and another reason is that they keep the mind occupied and you can spend one hour every day at least one hour browsing different things especially people seeking dopamine people unhappy people wake up in the morning yeah let's check my feed my facebook wow my facebook yeah okay so of course uh, i haven't been on facebook for the last three months uh, April, before April, yeah, it's uh, almost three months. I decided to stop using Facebook, and uh, I'll push for that. So I'll deactivate this thingy. Let's see, uninstall, uninstall. Do you want to install this app? Yeah, Facebook, get away. I don't need a BS uh, where people are bragging about. You know, it's like all people making, uh, putting makeup. On their pictures and stuff and now with these phones uh, I have a bunch of features that I could create a, an image of me a fake image of me like a like a prostitute or a sex worker going on the street with a lot of makeup so she could fool people so she could sell herself the same thing with people on uh, Facebook they sell a fake image so they get in return they get fake view uh, fake uh, fake likes Okay, did you get enough uh, BS talk? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, I'm excited only about the camera. The telephoto is 10 times. Uh, the macro, I was able to go about three, four centimeters that close so I could see my fingerprint. Uh, so the macro is good, the telephoto is good. Uh, I've used the telephoto in the daytime. Um, and I could see some uh, noise around the edges of the objects. So the focus is really good. I loved it. It's, uh, it's really powerful uh, stuff. Uh, but it's some noise. When you go to 10 times zoom, uh, you could see like a grainy stuff around the edges of the objects. It tells you it's trying hard. There's some sort of a algorithm or some sort of a processing that is happening behind the scenes and uh, it's not perfect uh, compared to uh, a professional camera anyways but it's good uh, the size sensor size uh, this one half an inch or something like that uh, it's cool especially packed with a bunch of other features um, I did not test the GPS, I did not test the barometer sensor. For me, barometer sensor and the compass are important. Um, 
uh, GPS is also important uh, not for driving around but for my other other type of map mapping system uh, probably has some SOS features for those interested in that uh, speakers are good but I don't know if I mentioned the the speaker sounds is like a from here and from here I don't know if it comes behind the screen I cover this hole and kind of muted the speaker a little bit and uh, I covered this hole at the bottom and also it sounded muted so I, a bunch of sound comes through here but it, when I listen with my ear it sounds like it comes behind the screen somehow and they said the screen is uh, ultrasonic sensor uh, kind of sensitive probably is broadcasting uh, ultrasonic and it's receiving back the echo from your fingerprint in order to sense your fingerprint it's like a screen is used as a fingerprint reader not sure how uh, they did that but if it's that packed with technology the screen that means it's very expensive to replace on my note 8 the one that I'm using uh, this one um, I had some trouble with um, S Pen in some areas was not picking up the S Pen and uh, like I said the screen had uh, some fading and then some burn-ins on some uh, shadows so for that reason like I said I'm, uh, I'm going to turn the, the screen brightness no more adaptive brightness I'll turn it low because this is one of the fewest times I'm, I'm going to use this phone outside so as you can see it's, uh, hmm, it's dull it's dull and if I go to somewhere in the shade yeah it's it's much better but this glass uh, creates a glare yeah so now I have to shut it down I have uh, to close the, the the office and we'll talk to you in different video bye bye